Today we're going to showcase the undercarriage of this highly original time machine like Mercedes Pagoda. And we've only had this car just a few days and this is exactly the way we got the car. It has not been pressure washed or, or any kind of cleaning underneath. And it, it, it's really just a treasure. As we go under the car, we're going to look up at the, the front bumpers and see that they've got they're factory bumpers, we know that because they've got the off-white color on the inside. And when bumpers get re-chromed, a lot of times that's not something that uh, is done. Uh, so it's a good originality marker. Looking up, you see the factory undercoating hanging just like a stalactite from the top. It was laid on really thick. And you'll notice the wheel houses are body color. That's how they all were. That's how the factory did them. Uh, years later, sometimes the shops will rattle can them black, uh, but it's not the, not the correct method. Again, wheel house with factory uh, body color. And your, your lines are gold CAD, but they were covered with the cosmoline, so they, were, they darkened over the years, more of like a root beer color. The transmission mounting plates were always body color. And you notice the little blue paint, that's what we call dotology, is when things were torqued, they would put a, a paint uh, blotch to, to mark that and so that the inspector would know it was done. The exhaust system may be original to the car. It's hard to tell, but exhausts were just mild steel and uncoated, so they would corrode. It's just natural. This one doesn't show any uh, evidence of exhaust leaking, so it, it would be sound. The little hangers, this one is, is given up, and, and again, we have not reconditioned this car yet. Uh, the, these are a, a maintenance item. You just replace them as needed, the little donuts. The um, undercarriages on the early cars, this being an early car, are a sandalwood color. The later 280s had, had more of a, a, a beige undercoating, but these are a, a dark tan with that cosmoline shipping wax applied and a little bit of road dirt over the years. So this is, this is what a all original undercarriage looks like on an early Pagoda. You'll notice uh, it was sprayed on and then the technician would brush the seams of the seam sealer so you can you can see brush marks uh, at the edges that's how they were done a little more dotology if our videographer can zoom in there's a blue mark and if we look around the car we'll find all sorts of instances of these colors here's some more blue on the springs here's some colors and in the case of the springs I believe that tells the, the type of tension this particular spring has. There's a little yellow blotch right there. Moving back, we're looking up at the gas tank now. And I'm almost certain this fuel line is original, just by the way it looks, the patina that it has. Probably this one's been replaced over the years. Our shock absorbers have been replaced recently. They're the Bilstein brand which I believe is OEM for this car. Looking up, we see the bottom of the trunk and the structural member, all original, untouched. And moving towards the back, what I like to call the rear valence, or at least this rear panel, we, we can see the factory spot welds along here, these little dimples, those are the spot welds. And those are pretty uh, difficult to duplicate when body work is done. So we're almost certain this, this is an original panel. Actually, we, we really know this car is 90% original paint uh, per our paint meter uh, exploration. Again, we see more dotology, more colors. Bilstein shock absorber. Looking up at the rear wheelhouse, again, uh, body color under there. Never, 
I want to say, I don't want to say never cleaned, but not cleaned under our watch. You know, the car has obviously been driven in the rain occasionally, uh, but my gosh, it's survived uh, really in quite lovely condition. This is the rocker cover. They're always black from the factory, it has a texture coat, and they're held on by round Phillips head screws. 